BAFTA goes to World War I Remembered from the Battlefield and Westminster Abbey. Well, I can safely say it's a very proud moment for everyone at BBC Events, all of the team, ably led by Phil Dolling, and the creative drive behind this remarkable day of coverage last year was Julie Heppenstall, our producer. And what I'd like to say, well done, Julie. What I'd like to say at this point is, when we think about engaging young people in this kind of coverage, the level of engagement of different, of all ages, people of all ages, in this day-long remembrance was remarkable. And the good thing is that we can still have faith that people will think about what happened a century ago and show respect for the sacrifice that people made. So BAFTA, Diochen Waud, thank you very much. Congratulations. Thank you. And what's it like when you're sitting there and you hear your, your name of your production called out? I don't think any of us moved out of our seats for about 30 seconds <laughs> because it's not that we weren't, well, I suppose we weren't expecting to win, so it's fantastic when you do. Yeah, I know, I'm not surprised. And um, there are quite a few subjects, you know, World War One, obviously quite a topical thing last year, quite a topical subject, and a lot of companies um, approached it and tried to do something on it. What made yours different? Why did you decide to go it this way? Julie, you should answer that. <laughs> Julie was the brains behind it all. No, I think we started with a template of certain national events that were bringing the country together anyway. And our job between us was to make those relevant and not just appealing, as you said in the speech, to one small section of the population who traditionally watch events of that nature. And that was where hopefully the television played its part in yeah. events that were already happening. There must be quite a few challenges as well, or something like that as well. Come on, what kind of challenges did you have? <laughs> I think the thing I'd underlined was how ambitious it was. Yeah. When you have live coverage across eight, nine, ten hours, um, and you are trying to engage the same audience with different events, some of them in the UK, some of them abroad, in this case in, in uh, Belgium and in France, trying to maintain the pace of the programme, trying to make it meaningful, trying to make it reach out and nail people's attention for that length of time is not an easy thing to do and that's where Julie's incredibly creative approach came in and that people were still with us late at night watching the lights going out symbolically right across the UK including in London and the Houses of Parliament. It was quite a logistical feat and I think that Julie's being a bit modest <laughs> about what she achieved. It was very ambitious, yeah. it was it's quite risky Julie but it oh, paid off. It was off. definitely yeah. risky. It paid off. <laughs> when, it paid when, off. How long was it to kind of get the idea kind of sorted out and before it went ahead? Um, we started working on it full steam um, probably from about early April. Okay. Um, early, and then it gradually cranked up. Um, but an awful, awful lot of people involved. I know everyone always says it, but an awful lot of people involved. Yeah. Well, look, it's brilliant. Congratulations Can on I winning just tonight. just say one last thing? I'd just like to say thank you very much to Kim Chillinglaw from BBC Two because handing over an entire evening to BBC Two in prime time takes an awful lot of faith and I, I really appreciate it. Yeah, no problem. And for something so moving as well. Yeah. Oh, you no. No, <laughs> you're going to cry. I'm, uh, <laughs> Well, well, turn the cameras off, I probably will. <laughs> You're moved and I'm shaking. <laughs> oh, look, congratulations. Okay. It's so good that this has been recognised in this way. It's so brilliant. Thank you. Thank you very Thank you much. Very much. Thank, you. Thank you.